Welcome to the Goulds Water Technology video training series. In this episode, we're going to talk to you about checking the air pressure in your diaphragm tank. There are three important steps in this process. The first step is to understand what the air pressure in your tank should be. Step two is how to properly determine what the air pressure is. And the final step, if needed, is adjusting the air pressure. Per Department of Transportation requirements, diaphragm tanks used in typical residential water systems are shipped with 38 PSI. To determine what the air pressure should be, you will first turn off the power to your pump. Next, locate the pressure switch and remove the cover. Depending on your system, you can find the pressure switch on the pump or on the discharge of the diaphragm tank. Underneath the cover, you will find a specification sticker which will indicate a cut-on and cut-off pressure. Generally, these are 2040, 3050, or 4060, the lower number being the cut-on pressure. The tank air pressure needs to be within 2 to 3 psi below the cut-on pressure. For example, if the sticker shows 3050, then the pressure in the tank should be 27 to 28 psi. Now, it's time for you to determine the air pressure in your tank. If you followed the previous steps to determine what the air pressure should be, your unit will already be off. However, if you already knew what the air pressure should be and have not yet turned off the electrical power to your pump, you need to do that now. Once the power is off, open a nearby faucet and completely drain the tank of water. When the water has stopped coming from the faucet and the pressure on your tank shows zero PSI, you will know that you have completely drained the tank. Third, locate the air valve. You can see the air valve for this tank here. If you don't find it here, it may also be located on the bottom or side of the tank, depending on the type of tank and its orientation. Next, you're going to remove the valve cap, like this. Then, take your high-quality pressure gauge and firmly insert into the air valve. The pressure the gauge reading should be is within 2 to 3 psi below the cut-on pressure. If you think your tank may have an air leak, you can use soapy water on the valve and tank seams to check for leaks. If your pressure is not 2 to 3 psi below your cut-on pressure, you will need to adjust it. First, you'll need an air compressor and an inflator or air chuck. If removing air, simply use a screwdriver or the back of the inflator to push on the valve, which will let air out of the tank. If adding air, simply insert the inflator onto the valve and the air will flow into the tank. Recheck the pressure and repeat the steps until your pressure gauge reads within 2 to 3 psi below the cut-on pressure. Remember, the valve cap is the primary seal, so be sure to reinstall the cap after checking the air pressure. You'll want to avoid frequent checking of air pressure as you could lose air pressure every time it is checked. 